all I hope you're doing really really well welcome to Victoria Moon Tarot my name is Lorena today we're going to do an energy check on your person's thoughts and feelings about you um yeah let's, so let's have a look what comes out this is a collective reading for all those that need to hear it right now if this re this message is for you that's absolutely fantastic i really hope it helps your situations don't worry i'll be doing more pick a cards and there are plenty of pick a card readings to choose from on the channel also any private services information with me is in the description box beneath the video and all the links as well. Please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. That one's just come out. I'll come back for you. I'll come back for you. So your person's thoughts, feelings and energy checks. I get emotional when I think of you. Divine counterpart. So spirit is letting you know that your person's thoughts and feelings and energies are processes. I'll come back for you. I get emotional when I think of you and divine counterpart. You are the first thing on my mind when I wake up in the morning. You're the first thing on my mind when I wake up in the morning. Okay, let's get your tarots. Let's have a look. What is going on? Wow, your person's getting emotional when they think of you. They can't stop thinking about you if they're waking up and thinking about you in the morning. But this I'll come back for you. Maybe indicates that you couldn't be together before. Or it wasn't the right time before, possibly. With has just flung itself right out. Ooh, these flinging cards. Thank you, Spirit. So the message is the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles. Let's see what else. Something just flung out there as well. Your Temperance card is reversed. Five of Pentacles is coming out. This, the whole reason, so you've got your Seven of Pentacles, so I know your connection is not finished, it's not over with. Your Temperance card can indicate some, either you or your person having a lots of emotions and they're struggling on moving forward. So, I, yeah, your person is coming back for you here because it's not finished between you, it's not over. Um, they still have feelings for you. They think about you all the time. That divine counterpart is telling me that they still probably have hope in the connection here as well. Your five of pentacles is telling me that they are feeling very lonely without you. They're worrying about the connection also. Your temperance card in reverse, um, being the major arcana there, is telling me that their biggest overall energy is how emotional they have become or are about you. Um, they may have just had, I don't know if there's something that's triggered off a flood of emotions as well. Maybe they've seen you, maybe they've seen you on social media. There's something that's triggered this, I feel, now as well. It's not that they haven't stopped thinking about you. There is a big trigger somewhere here. Something, it's kind of kicked off again, them thinking about you, your situation, everything. Um, divine counterpart very much telling me that they still think that there's something between you that you know eventually one day you'll be together now they might be just putting it down to bad timing bad luck um misunderstandings with your temperance card your nine of cups is telling me that maybe it went too fast everything went too fast and like um it's like too much too soon energy it's like it just was a lot at the time a lot of things going on possibly in your lives um yeah seven of pentacles it's like they're waiting for you uh your connection has been delayed somewhat with this person or they think it's delayed with you as well it's like it hasn't been finished off it's <laughs> it feels almost like that they it's like they haven't 
the feeling I'm getting is that they still is work to do here in their eyes or they're going to come back for you. It's like this isn't over with in my eyes. I still have all this emotional energy for you. Now, I don't know whether this you couldn't be together before or whether I'm looking at maybe someone who you used to be with and they're still thinking about you greatly here. As well, some of you might not even want to be in a connection with this person anymore, but are just a bit intrigued about their, where they might be. Time for reflection, divine intervention. So it's like a delay or a, or a, a hiccup or romance. And I love that colour. Sorry, I just was very attracted to that colour. Romance and feelings has come out. Fated meeting, important connection. Do you know when I said then that maybe something has triggered it off? I don't know if you've banged into each other or that you've been talked about or, um, yeah, you've been mentioned somewhere. Something, for me, it feels like this, your person's got thinking because, not for all of you, but it's like your person's thinking because um, they've been triggered by something like it's either they've seen a picture they've seen you you've been mentioned by somebody or you know that that's what I'm feeling there's been a trigger to this that's like an outpouring of emotional energy um for them sorry guys some creature bit me on <laughs> sorry about that some creature bit me on the finger and of course I've been putting the uh, antihistamine cream on it it's been there a couple of days it's, it's a bit better today but it was itching and burning yesterday um looks like a mosquito bite or midgey bite but what an unfortunate place <laughs> to bite someone because you can't keep the cream on for long um okay let me get an other oracle card for you. Thank you, Spirit just let. Okay, that fell into my hand. Stay optimistic. Positive thinking and faith will bring romance into your life. They still got hope for your connection here. Now, in saying this, some of you out there might think, oh my God, I don't want to be with this person. But I know that your person is uh, going to enter your life again at some point. Um, even if it's further down the line, that divine counterpart... Uh, I keep looking at it it's like they think that you're still meant to be together um and there's been a, an interruption a delay or you couldn't be together with this person before let me get more for you here as well what else can you tell us please about your person's energies thoughts and feelings Oh, we've got the card of boundaries because I did say for some of you, you still might be putting up this walled, walled, you know, I nearly said shield maiden, <laughs> like one of those Viking films. I feel like some of you may have put up a boundary um, with this or you did, a, hang on a sec, you've either still got your boundaries up or you did put up your boundary, like um, maybe there was an ultimatum for this connection or you wanted, you know, you wanted something from the connection. It's like you had to make, this was to protect your own heart space. I know it because I'm looking at this shield with a heart on it. It's like it's something you maybe had to do um, to protect yourself. But I can tell you now, this person has not forgotten about you. They are going to come back for you. They feel emotional about you. I do feel they've been triggered by something they've seen, heard, or you've been talked about. Um... Maybe your boundary is still up here. Maybe you're still protecting your heart space. Perhaps they've hurt you, so you're protecting your, you know, you're protecting yourself, which is a sensible thing to do when I see this card. Um, she does look quite sympathetic, though, when I'm looking at her face. It's like, I'm protecting myself, but I'm still a bit sympathetic. Um, yeah, I still feel sorry for you a little bit in some cases. But I can sense energy as well, guys. I don't know whether it's not all of you, but I can sense somebody who doesn't really want to see this person. Perhaps it's too much or too little, too late. Um, let me know in the comment section here because um, 
us readers, and we, do, we don't want any information really, you know, about the situations, but we do like to know when we, you know, where validation is really important for us. Like when we've got it right, you don't have to give information, just we need, you know, it's nice to hear when we've like got your situation. It knows that I'm doing a good job for you as well. Not that I need any praise because I really, really don't. <laughs> you don't have to praise me. But um, yeah. It's validation is healthy for psychics, like letting us know that we we're doing a good job for you. Um, we've got natural evolution. Let the situation unfold naturally. So there's no need to like do anything. So um, to rush it or anything, because it does feel like it's divinely timed for some reason. It, um, of course, as your reader, I can never tell you exactly what to do. And if you feel like reaching out then and you've got that intuitiveness, then go ahead. But spirit is kind of saying, look, this is going to naturally progress anyway, whether I feel whether you want this person in your life still or not. So, um, yes, I'm going to get to some more message cards. Let's get some more message cards here for you. Confessions of a Soulmate. It's my go-to deck at the minute. It's great. Oops, I just rung up. We've got Afraid. I'm afraid to let you down. Once you get to know me, I don't want to disappoint you, so I am avoiding you. I have to overcome this and myself as you see me before coming forward ready. Now, I'm going to pull three out, okay, of this deck because I got a feeling that's not going to, going to be everyone's situation. So I'm just trying to let me know which one is your situation in the comments section, okay? Right, here's another one from the middle of the deck. We've got twin flame signs. As your twin flame, I mirror what you're going through. Notice how we are very similar and share the same vision. There is a connection between us. That can't be denied. We have to work on ourselves to be together. Look out for signs of my love. It's me sending you. It's all, both cards straight away are saying that your person is acknowledging that they need to work on themselves. Have you noticed that? Let's do the third and the final one from this reading today. We've got opening up. Look at the flowers, they're gorgeous. I'm getting ready to say what's in my heart. I know that this is love. It's a true, unconditional and everlasting kind of love. I want you to know I'm trying to open up, but it's so hard for me to put my feelings for you into words. But I know I have to do this and you need to hear them. Okay, my lovelies, thank you so much. Let me know if any of this resonates. As I said, validation is, is, is quite important for us readers because we ne will never know that we're not getting it, any of it right. <laughs> do you know what I mean? We're not after praise. We're just after a little bit of um, validation that we've got something right for you. So that would be really sweet and kind of you. Please uh, don't forget to subscribe. I do do pick cards if you're new here on the channel. There's a few that I've released in the last couple of weeks there. This is a collective energy check of your person's thoughts and feelings today. Um, yeah, so please subscribe. Leave a comment if you would like. Give the video one of these. Any interaction really, really helps on, on, on my channel or anybody's channel. And I said all private information reading is in the description box beneath this video. Check it out. Thank you so much. I'll be back really, really soon. Take care till next time. Bye bye, everyone.